I think the Visible uh, Award and Visible Project uh, is interesting in that it sort of uh, pushes us curators to sort of um, look at how, in a practical way, art can go beyond its own field. And it, it allows us, in a way, to sort of find um, different topics, different uh, important social issues, and maybe find ways that uh, the different projects uh, 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 nominated by the curators can also interact um, you know, to address social political issues, because otherwise it, became, it, become, um, it becomes independent projects that are not connected, but in one way we are in a sort of global world f facing the same issues uh, across borders. If we take, for instance, Armet Good and uh, the Silent University, which is dealing with migration in, you know, in different locations where the Silent Universities, you know, where they find partners to work on the Silent Universities, it's also a topic or an issue that can be, you know, obviously it could be glo you know, something that's global. So it could be interesting as well to sort of push the boundaries and see where different projects can interact and you know, address the same issues and maybe find the same solutions and you know, or collaborate uh, to find solutions that of, you know, to problems that they face in different countries. The most important thing for me is that it challenges artist practice you know, there's a lot of uh, you know, doc documenting and uh, representing, and it's for me it's more about the acting. It's it's about doing things. It's about finding practical solutions. And the Silent University is one of these projects where not only you know there's one artist obviously who's you know present, but like the participants are also um, you know the people concerned are also actively involved in the process. So for me, it's really about um, gaining agency, uh, that, that the people don't become subject, but are, you know, active in the process of changing you know, of you know their lives and the lives of others, uh, or being uh, being you know of this solidarity that allows us to go together and change things together. Yeah, it's, it's a question that's uh, been addressed. Um, I, I would say two things about that, because there's uh, displacement or mig migration or you know, movement throughout uh, Africa, for instance. Right now, there's the, this very interesting project called uh, Invisible Borders, where Emeka uh, Okereke, who's a Nigerian photographer, has taken as an artistic practice to sort of use movement and crossing borders within Africa and challenge and, and see you know, what obstacles you face within the, our own continent um, to, you know, cross across, um, to, to travel across different countries. Uh, so there's this aspect of migration, but there's also, um, as I was saying in the, in the presentation, um, it's also very, much, very important that um, artists or practitioners speak for themselves because you find um, there's a lot of uh, speaking for others, speaking, you know, documenting migrations, but it's also about, what is important maybe with the Visible Project is also to um, give a voice to the people who experience the, you know, those uh, situations of mig migrancy and uh, you know, be being forced uh, away from your own country. So in a way, uh, and that's also what I was maybe trying to put across uh, during the presentation, um, there should be a way or, or one could reflect on possibilities or ways to um, empower migrants to tell their own story and to you know, get their voice across, even if we're talking about the silent university, but also you know, find a way to break the silence when the silence is a sort of oppression.